Hello everyone! In this video, I will introduce the 3D printed water strider eyeglass frames. It began as a two-year search for half-frame eyeglasses with a frame on the bottom instead of on the top. This is because the frame being on the top tends to give a unibrow look, making the face look Neanderthal. Instead, with the frames on the bottom, a person's unobstructed eyebrows can complement the frame. The search took me to eyeglass stores all over New York City, the biggest eyeglass shopping mall in the world at Beijing, and scouring through the internet. What I found were mostly reading glasses too small for everyday use, or discontinued overpriced models. The only way to get what I wanted was to make it myself. During the design process, a decision was made to show off the edge of the lens, highlighting it based on the angle of light hitting it. This is done by four small clamps that secure the lens in place, with minimal contact, much like how a water strider touches the surface of a pond. The arms have hooks that allow the cords of headphone to wrap around the top and back of the ear, so that the cords never dangle in front of the wearer during everyday use, especially during activities such as jogging. The cord and frames end up securing each other in place. You should be able to fulfill the prescription lens at any eyeglass store. The one I went to was a bit hesitant at first because they've never seen a 3D printed frame before. They gave me an offer to try cutting one lens to see if it fits. If it doesn't, they would provide a full refund. Of course, it worked perfectly. I think they 3D scanned the frames in order to accurately cut the lens, and the process took three hours from the time I placed the order to when the lens were ready for me to pick up. It took extra long because this was an extra special request. The hinges use two C0387 screws, which are usually provided for free at any eyeglass store. The threads are too fine to be 3D printed. Instead, the threads scrape off some of the coating as they are screwed in, securing it in place. Because of this, you probably wouldn't want to replace the screws too often. From the months that I've tested my prototypes, the screws never started falling out, even if they wiggle somewhat. If for some reason yours got printed a bit too loose, you can add a tiny drop of superglue at one end of the screw. Just don't apply too much or it might leak into other parts of the hinge. There's a substantial curvature to the design. Just be careful not to put it in your back pocket and sit on it. Since it's printed in steel, it can be bent into any shape using your hands. If the frames are too big or small for your head, you can adjust the bridge, arms, or nose piece to compensate. The frame around the lens can also be slightly bent in order to form a tighter clamp around the lens. Once, during a party, someone accidentally stepped on my frames. The lenses popped out, and the frames were flattened and warped. However, since the metal is malleable, I was able to bend it back into shape almost exactly the way it was supposed to be. From my months testing the prototype, I've noticed that the coating does rub off where it touches the skin. To prevent this, you can use clear nail polish to coat the frame in a protective layer. The most susceptible areas are the inside of the frames and the part that touches your nose. These frames have a very unique and distinctive look. It's a great conversation starter and gives people something extra to remember you by. Some new friends that I've made have told me that they first remembered me as that dude with the upside down glasses. They also get excited about the idea that eyeglass frames can finally complement the ubiquitous earbuds. I also plan on designing things such as arm variations that would be sewed separately. If you want to order one for yourself, a link is provided in the description of the video. Thank you for watching.